Right, this buffer overflow does not currently have a CVE number listed for it in the Black Hat 2021 presentation. I checked with the researchers and they don't know the CVE number. So it may or may not be the case that this is actually fixed yet. They originally reported it not to Samsung who makes the baseband, but to Vivo, the phone manufacturer that was using the baseband. So the background here is that Samsung cellular modems, AKA basebands, need to parse cellular protocol messages, right? That's how they handle cell calls. And session initiation protocol or SIP is one such message type and it's used by 4G and 5G networks. And some SIP messages have content that's encoded in XML. So in this scenario, an attacker would be someone that is either within a compromised cellular carrier, a malicious cellular carrier, or an attacker who just happens to be in physical proximity to a victim and sets up a fake cellular base station. Basically, then the victim phone will connect to the fake base station and it will allow the attacker to send ACID SIP messages with its XML content, which will be parsed by the baseband before any typical cellular authentication can occur. All right, so here is the XML parsing code. So just the fact that it happens in a baseband is not particularly interesting. It's just some code that parses XML and what could the problem be? Go read the fun code and find the flaw.